Welcome back to another episode of Spilling the Tea with the Henna Guys. If you're new to our channel, welcome, welcome, where we do videos of you guys applying henna, uh, conditioners, natural herbs. And recently what I've started to do, because for educational purposes, for you guys to better understand how conventional hair dyes cause like really bad reactions. And so those type of videos I like to do. I know I did previously one. So today's episode is called allergic reaction to hair dye that happened. Oh my. Twice. No, no, no. If it happened once, do not, do not go back. Do not even touch it. And her channel is called Marissa Renee. So without further ado, we are just going to dive right in and start this video. To Marissa Renee, and today there is something I have, I'm going to start doing periodically, is a sip and spill. So I'm gonna sip my wine, of course, and I'm gonna share with you a crazy story. Before I get started, please, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, then also turn on notifications, and of course, follow me on social media. So for today's uh, sip and spill. We are drinking the Rascal Pinot Noir that I reviewed. So please check out that link. I'll link it up here. Let's get into it. Cheers. But for this, we, this is not enough. We need to let's go ahead and fill that baby up. This is a very crazy story about my allergic reaction to hair dye. Um, and I doing this for awareness, really, and also because don't ever be like me. I would never wish this on my worst enemy. Cheers. This also happened to me not once, but twice because I am hard headed. And I'm also going to be periodically putting up pictures so you understand the flow and the progression and how serious it really became. First time, backstory both my parents have grade early. So, naturally, I would start graying early. It never bothered me, like I, you know, I would dye my hair. I probably had my first gray hair when I was like a teenager, I don't know. I always wore sew-ins, always wore sew-ins. Um, usually full sew-ins with like a closure, so you never saw my hair. So I would go on breaks without dyeing it. When I turned 30, I chopped off all my hair. My hair professionally dyed, no problem. Fast forward to 2019, I started working at this job and I had to wear a uniform. And if you ever wore, had to wear a uniform for work, you couldn't have your hair touch the collar. So you always had it, like if, if someone who had long hair had to wear their hair in a bun, like a very neat bun. I, when I first started the position and I got my uniform, I was wearing passion twists. And then of course I just had to come out. And then I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? Cause I didn't like the way my wig was looking in a bun. It looked real wiggish. It was not giving. So I was like, well, what am I gonna do? In October, November was my one year anniversary, 2019, my one year wedding anniversary. And I was gonna get my hair pressed out because Christy never seen my real hair straightened. But I need something in between. So let me go ahead and get a sewing. I only wanted it in for a month. Like, I don't wanna go buy it. It was this whole drama, of course. So I was like, let me just go use the hair that I already had for my wig. The hair that I had on the wig was jet black. So of course, I have a lot of gray hair. You can't really see it um, on camera too good, but um, I have a lot of gray hair. So I was like, well, I need to dye my hair that's going to be left out so it can blend and look nice. No big deal, I've dyed my hair myself before, never had an issue. Go to the store, of course I'm a procrastinator, at the time I had passion twist in, so she was going to do my hair, I was on a Sunday, and I was like, well, Saturday night, I gotta go to the store, get some hair dye. Go to the store, they didn't, I usually get dark and lovely, they didn't have dark and lovely, and I said, well, whatever, I don't have time, so I'm just gonna get, I got cream of nature. Mm -hmm. Got the hair dye. This is where procrastination saved me. Of course, I went to the last minute the next day to take out my hair. I had to dye it, wash it, blow dry it in preparation for her to come do my sew-in. Well, I don't have that much time. I'm only leaving this, some of my hair up in the sides, so let me just dye that. So I just dyed the top part of my hair and the sides of my hair. Left the dye in for 10 minutes. Normally, it says leave on to 25 to 35 minutes. It also says to do a skin test. I've never done that personally, and I honestly don't know anybody who ever has, but after this whole experience, a thousand percent recommend to do the skin test. This is why I always emphasize that it's so important to do 
the strand test, the patch test, to understand, and especially for conventional dyes, if you are allergic to them. And when you're using henna too, I will say, you know what, do a skin test, do a patch test to understand you're not allergic to the plant because everyone's different. So you really don't know. Just don't take anything and apply it right onto your hair. Please do the patch tests. And you can just do it right um, in the elbow here or behind your ear. I'm going to do my hair. We're having a good time. And the next day, so at the time I also wear Tuesday through Saturday. So I got it done on Sunday. So Monday I wake up and I'm noticing like my head is like really, it starts like crusting like on the parts. And I was like, well, I don't know what it is. So I originally thought that she just braided my hair too tight. And mind you, I haven't had a sew-in in a long time because I was wearing wigs. So I was like, maybe I'm just being, you know, tender-headed, which I'm not. Tender-headed, you cannot be a natural and be tender-headed. I'm sorry. You just... So I just kind of chalked it up to my hair being too tight. The next day, which was a Tuesday, I had to go to work. So I wake up and my hair is like wet. I'm like, why is it wet? So I'm still thinking that my hair is just too tight and it's like red and raw. And I don't know what it is. I got to go to work. On my way to work, I put up like a, a scarf on my head because, you know, if if your hair gets wet and you're natural, it just curls right up. And I like I need it to blend because it's straight hair. Of course, you know, I wear glasses. I start noticing my glasses to get tight and I don't like have a wide face. So I was like, well, why are my glasses getting tight? So I look up in the mirror and I start noticing my eyes. So this is the picture right here. You can see my eyes slightly um, yeah. puffed up. So I FaceTime Kristen. I'm like, hey, babe, like, do you feel like my face is swollen? She's like, yeah, like you need to come home. So this is about 6.45ish. So I called my boss, who's a black woman. So she understood and I was like, hey, I think I need, like, I just got my hair done and I think it's, like, too tight and my face is starting to swell, so I feel like I need to go home to make sure, like, I'm good. She's like, okay, no problem, so I go home. I work, at the time, I worked about 45 minutes away, so by the time I get home, I walk in the door and my son, CJ, looks at me, he's like, oh my god, mommy, what's wrong with your face? I'm like, what's wrong with my face? So it starts swelling, like, it, I look like a light bulb, like it's wide. So this is a picture here. This is about a oh. seven or o'clock. So I'm still not understanding. So Chrissy's like, you need to take your hair off. So I start thinking, it has to be something else. Like it, I've never had this happen. I've gotten several stones in my life, like never happened. So I take my hair out and my progressively, like you can see, I, I it looked like a different person. Like this is what I'm starting to look like right here. I'm like, something's wrong. So I take my hair out, oh but then my. I'm like, contemplating because I'm like I still have to go to work like what am I going to do for work so I have to wear a uniform I have all these restrictions I wash my hair and start googling I'm like what changed I'm like the only thing I could think of was the hair dye because I've never used this brand before right. I google you know allergic reactions to hair dye boom there it is that's exactly how my face looks go to bed and I wake up and I wake up around 7 15 because I have to make sure CJ's up, get him to the bus stop, all that good stuff. So I get up and I'm like, I go to the bathroom and my eye is just getting worse. This is me at 7.15 in the morning. So I'm like, crap, like I have to go get some manager. Like what am I gonna do? By the time I go to the bus stop, oh my God. and I come and come back, this is what my eye looks like, completely <gasps> swollen. So I'm like, crap, I really have to go to get some Benadryl, looking crazy. By the time I get in the car with the mirror, it's even worse. This is it right here. So I call Christy and I'm like, babe, look at my face so she leaves work immediately i had to go into walgreens looking like an idiot and i'm like i need some benadryl and the cashier looked at me and she said i think it's a little late for benadryl and i'm like well i mean i don't really have a choice i take the benadryl and i get some neutralizing shampoo so i'm going back in the shower i call my boss i'm like hey i'm not gonna be able to come in like my eye is literally swollen shut at this point, I am not presentable to go into work. Then we start researching like how to get over allergic reaction to me red Vaseline. And we didn't have Vaseline because I don't like Vaseline. It grosses me out. That's another story for another day. But I had Aquaphor. So Christy comes home and she's like lathering my face with Aquaphor. So not only is my eye swollen, my face is greasy. At this point, I'm like, I have to go to urgent care. So I go to urgent care. They give me, I am shot of Benadryl. I am shot of steroids. And they put me on steroids for a month. A month. Come back home. And I'm like, I still look kind of crazy. But I have to just wait it out. And, you know, these are just some progression. I'm going to just kind of show them in the back as the progression while I keep talking for the sake of time. So 
it start what happens with allergic reactions it starts it just like so going down scary. your body and then so like my neck had like fluid and you can like literally flick my neck oh my god and it started being down here and i mean just look at my face like I was, long story short, I ended up having to go back to urgent care because my throat started itching and I was like, if my throat closes up, like, what am I going to do? So, go back to urgent care, get another shot of Benadryl, get another shot of steroids. But that'll work for a week and that's ultimately what actually led me to wearing my natural hair out. So, I mean, it was like a silver lining in there, I guess. But this is when it happened the second time because I told you I was hard-headed. It was a year to date. I got tired of growing my hair like there's nothing wrong with gray hair and i wish that my hair would just go gray so i was like you know what f it i'm going down my hair again i'm going to use dark and lovely which is a brand i've used several times in the past i get the dark and lovely jet black hair dye and i dye my hair and i'm like you know what? i'm gonna do all of it i don't want so to i dye my whole entire now. head i leave it on for the entire 35 minutes okay. about uh, eight o'clock I looked at Christy and I was like, my throat's starting to itch. Oh and I was no! Like, Here we no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna beat it. I'm going to beat it to the punch. So I take some Benadryl, thinking I'm good. I already had the Benadryl here from my last allergic reaction. I go to sleep. I wake up, and this is where it gets a little gross. So my pillow is soaking wet. Mind you, my hair was completely dry. So the it was pus, which is really gross. But that's what that happens naturally with your body is trying to get rid of what it's allergic to. It you know secretes it. That's the word. Secretes it. So, my pillow's wet and I'm like... I just need to stop for a moment. It's just like stressing me out. If this happened to me the first time, not uh You have really, really... Oh my god, the strength to do it again. No, I would never. I would never. I can never do it ever again if that happens to me. Oh... Okay, I honestly cannot watch this anymore. You guys can go ahead and the link is down below. Oh my god. Watch her full video. So this is why I, I want to do edification routine by doing it as a second time. No, this is why it's so important. Um, you don't know what the conventional hair dyes contain, that they're so corrosive that it's causing such reactions. Look for alternatives. I mean, henna mother nature has always always put it out for us so just if you're looking for an alternative and I, the hair dye i seriously am getting very speechless because this was really stressing me out i feel so bad i hope you don't do it a second time don't ever try this thanks for watching until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Oh, man. I don't think I can watch this anymore.